you're going to see Army and Georgia Tech run the follow play in short yards and goal line. And you're going to see them do it even if they're not in the heavy formation. You're going to see, for example, they'll be in the double flex formation. They'll be in this compressed formation. And you'll see them do it. So run and follow on a double flex. It's real simple. The offensive line will double the action key. If there's a three technique, they double the three. If there's no three, if there's a two, they double the two. If there's no three or two, they double the two I. In this case, they're going to get their inside knee through the crotch with the two I. The tackle on follow is going to automatically veer inside. He's got whoever shows in the B gap. So he'll have the mic to the free safety. The backside guard and tackle will scoop. They'll cancel the backside A gap and the backside B gap, respectively. For the backside guard, the backside A gap ends at the center's crotch, and at the backside B gap ends at the guard's crotch for the backside tackle. The receiver is going to step with his inside foot first to prevent the nine technique from spiking inside, and he's going to fan the nine technique. The A back, what the A back does in zone dive is he steps right behind the tackle and he blocked the first threat that shows. So if the five technique squeezes the tackle, he collisions him. Otherwise, he'll end up on the mic. Could even end up on the free safety if the mic runs over the top that hard. But typically, if that happens, the five's going to come hard to take the B back. The backside receiver will cut off. And now, from there, what will happen is the quarterback will jump in the A gap. He doesn't need to point the ball. The B-back's going to run off the double team, and he's going to block the mic. He could end up on the will. He could end up on the free safety, depending on things. But he would block the mic to the will coming over the top to the free safety. The backs at A-back will hammer, take four diagonal steps, and turn up. He does that to basically occupy uh, the nine technique in the corner and the safety and perhaps even the mic, depending on what they're doing. Quarterback jumps in the gap. He doesn't need to point the ball. He's just going to follow the B-back. He's going to follow the B-back and go from there. Follow is a concept that can be all-encompassing. If you don't get four yards on the give to the B-back, run the follow. Because what happens is, is the five techniques playing the quarterback through the C-gap. So in that case, when the A-back runs through the tackle, he collisions him and the ball goes up inside anyway. So basically what ends up happening is you can utilize the follow as an all-encompassing constraint because let's say, for example, number one decides to take the B back. Well, then he's the A back is going to collision him. The mic's going to run over the top, and by the time the quarterback hits it up, this guy's got to run over the top to take the quarterback or to pitch, but he's running over the top to take the quarterback in the C gap or the pitch in the D gap out here. So what ends up happening is there's no mic. So then you get a block on the will and you get a block on the free safety. And basically you've got everybody canceled for the quarterback to go to the end zone. Utilize the follow as an all-encompassing constraint play in the triple option offense. Now one other thing, if they bring a, a B-gap defender up on the line of scrimmage, you're going to want to check the toss. And the reason for that is you want to check to the toss because that's one fewer player that they have to get over the top and you have them outnumbered on the perimeter. Utilize and pair the follow with the rocket toss in 2018 to take your triple option offense to new heights. If you don't get four yards on the, on the triple, run the follow. If you don't get four yards on the follow, then probably you need to get the ball on the perimeter. That's what you're going to look to do. If you have any questions and you're interested in becoming a client, give me a call, 570-332-0265, 570-332-0265. Talk soon.